Is it still raining out there? Let's take a look first at word stress. There's only one word in this sentence that has more than one syllable, and that's raining. So it's important to note that raining, the primary stress syllable is rain, so we say that loudest and longest, and ing is short and reduced. Raining. Is it still raining out there? An additional thing to note is that the focus word in this sentence is raining. So more than any other word, the word raining is going to stand out as being a louder and longer word than all the others in the sentence. Still is also an important word, and we're also going to say that one fairly strong, but not as strongly as raining. Is it still raining out there? Now let's take a look at linking. What links together? Is it? So we're going to link together, is it? Because we have a consonant at the end, s, and a vowel at the beginning of the next word. So those two link together nicely. It, the t, is a stop consonant. So it doesn't link so nicely together. It still links a bit, but it doesn't have that smooth linking. Is it still? But what we're going to link together smoothly is the L in still and the R in raining, because we again have consonant to consonant linking. Still raining. And then the ING here, that NG ending, is also a consonant. And that's going to link to the OW vowel sound in out. So link there, raining out. And then the T in out and the TH in there will also link together as consonant to consonant linking. Say it with me. Is it still raining out there? Now as a response, we could say, yeah, it's really coming down. Let's take a look at that. First, we want to make sure to pause here at the comma after yeah. And now let's look for words with more than one syllable. We have two of them. We have really, which is two syllables. The first part is loudest and longest. And the second syllable is a secondary stress syllable. So we hear the E very clearly, but it's not quite as long. Really. And then coming is also a two syllable word. The first part is loudest and longest. And the ing again is a reduced weak syllable. Coming. Yeah. It's really coming down. And if you notice, again, there's one word that tends to be loudest and longest. That's the focus word. And in this sentence, it's down. It's really coming down. Then you'll notice there's a contraction. It's, it is, in spoken English, is almost always contracted to it's. And also, let's take a look at some linking. There's a pause right here, so we're not going to link anything across the pause. But let's take a look at this right here. Consonant to consonant linking. It's really, it's really, CC, consonant, consonant. And then we've got, let's see, coming down. There's something that happens here with ing endings, oftentimes in informal English, you'll notice that it's pronounced coming instead of coming. So I'm going to mark that right there, coming down. So we've got a consonant ending here and a consonant there. So we're going to link those two, coming down. So let's practice that one together. Yeah, it's really coming down. Our focus word is down. But usually in sentences, there are two dominant words within the phrase. And the focus word, which is the loudest and longest, tends to come toward the end of the phrase. And then there's usually a second word within that phrase, which is also fairly loud. And in this case, it's really. I'm going to circle that for you. So you'll notice when I say it, yeah, it's really coming down. Notice how down stands out very loudly, but really also is there quite loudly too.
And then you could follow that up with, I'm soaked. So I'm is the contraction I am. And then one thing to note here in this ending, this is a one syllable word. Do not say soaked, you wanna say soaked. So this ED here is pronounced as a T. When the ED ending follows a voiceless consonant like K, it's going to be pronounced T, soaked. I'm soaked.